close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. Try to be really clear about when it's coming in, clear about when it's coming out. Try to bring a little light inside to what's going on, both in the body and in the mind. As you look at the lights outside, and a lot of those lights are the lights of delusion, the media, all the signs all around. They pull us out into greed, aversion, and delusion and make the mind a lot darker. So what you need is some light inside. As the Buddha said, there is no light like discernment. There's no light as bright as discernment. When you've got your discernment inside, then wherever you go, you've got this inner light that lets you see things for what they are. And especially you see your own mind. So you can see when it's running out after things in a way that's going to cause suffering. And you bring it right back because you've got a better place to be right here. When the mind is centered like this, okay, it's at home. It's at rest. It's a place where it can gather its strength and it can gather its knowledge. And that knowledge is what brings light to things. Because we go through life and we're looking for happiness, and yet so many times we do things that are going to cause suffering. And we wonder why. It's because the workings of our own mind are in the dark. And so things happen without our really realizing what's going on. So we want to bring some light inside to really see what's actually happening in there. Then you can understand, okay, this is causing that, and that's causing this, and this is why I've been suffering all along. And that's the way out. These things become very clear. It was like the Buddha made up Four Noble Truths. He didn't sit down and say, what would be a nice teaching to have? Well, how about truths and calling them noble and four is a good number? That's not how he was thinking. He was thinking about a problem that we all have inside, that there's so much darkness inside and how we bring some light into that darkness so that the things we're doing that are causing suffering, we can stop. We start doing things that lead to the end of suffering, and then the mind is really, really clear and really, really bright. The less suffering it's caused, causing, the more brightness there is inside. So think of your meditation as a way of lighting things up inside. As a John Sawat used to say, no matter how long things have been dark, all you have to do is light the light once and you can see things clearly. And the darkness doesn't have the right to say, well, we've been here much longer, so this is our place. It's not their place anymore. As soon as the light comes in, the light makes things clear, and then your choices are clear. This is how you bring light into your life. It doesn't come from outside. It's something you develop from within. So try to develop this light of discernment and give it a, the foundation it needs as you get the mind still. Once the mind grows still, it's like water that's been murky, and the, the murkiness finally settles down, settles down because it's not being stirred up. So when it's light and clear inside, okay, then you know what you're doing. And when you know what you're doing, you can find the happiness you want.